So boys and girls, right now I'm out in my garden in the front of my house. And I have a lot of flowers here that you can see. But the reason why I'm out here is there is a monarch butterfly, a female, flying around. And she is laying eggs all over my um, milkweed plants. Specifically, I don't know if you can see her right there. She's drinking some nectar on a flower. But if you look down and see that orange flower right there, that is butterfly weed, which is a milkweed plant. It's actually called Asclepias tuberosa. And here's some others right there that doesn't have a flower yet. And there is some right there in front of the yellow plant that I cut the um, dead flowers off. And if you look straight ahead, if I zoom in just a little bit, you'll see those really tall pod looking things. Okay, and those are seed pods that is for the milkweed plant. The butterfly has been out here all day laying eggs. Here, oh, she comes by. This plant right here is actually called Mexican sunflower, if you wanted to see. Um, Tithonia, it's one of my favorite plants. You can grow it from seed in your backyard next summer, if you think about it. And um, there's a lot of little skippers jumping around. But I wanted you to see this butterfly, this monarch, female, and she has just been crazy in my garden today, just laying eggs over everything. So this is just the front of my house. You can see some delivery options that I've been buying this year, this summer. Uh, <clears throat> lots and lots of plants, purple cone flowers, gumfrina, bee balm. And here's Snapdragons, Pentis, all of these, are, uh, Coreopsis, Salvia, all of these are types of flowers that attract a lot of butterflies to the garden. But you can't just have the flowers that attract the butterfly. You need to have the larva food for their babies. So for a monarch, that is milkweed. So down here, there's a whole bunch of milkweed where they can lay some eggs. Okay, and then there's the nectar source. So while I'm out here, I saw her laying eggs. So let's see if I flip under some of these leaves. And this is hard because this plant's a little bit tough. If I look under, are there any eggs that I can see from where I'm standing? She was going around. And I, how I look for them is I flip up underneath the leaf. Now last week I noticed that there was an entire plant missing. Missing, um, I would say leaves from it. And it looked like something had eaten it. And I couldn't find the caterpillar, but I knew that it had to be a monarch caterpillar. And I want you to see, by the way, I cut this off. This was the old dead flower. And by doing that, it caused this new bud to come out on the side. So gardening is a lifelong daily journey. Now let me step on over here. Here is what the butterfly weed flower looks like. It's a beautiful, beautiful plant. And monarchs have a special way. What I have noticed over the years, and I raised hundreds of monarchs, sometimes between two and 800 in one year. This year, I'm not at that many yet. Oh, 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 surprise guest. But before I show you the surprise, guys, what I have noticed over the years is monarchs lay in the same, on the same leaf on different plants. So at the same level, they will lay at the same level. Now, as I was just flipping through those plants, this is what I noticed. That, my friends, is a baby monarch caterpillar in the wild. And I am actually going to snip this leaf off with my finger. Maybe we'll even see some milk substance come out. I didn't see that though. And here is the little caterpillar. That is probably a day old. Maybe two. 
as I'm trying to grab it with my other finger so I don't drop it. That was a good find. So this particular monarch likes to lay eggs on the tuberosa plant, which is pretty rare because the leaves are not as supple or succulent or um, soft as others to eat.